There are a lot of videos out there that talk about how to wash a driveway, even some that talk about how to quote a driveway cleaning. But there has never been a video made that is actually going to cover all of the factors that you need to consider to properly, accurately, but more importantly, profitably quote a driveway cleaning. So in today's video, we're going to discuss the key components and different ways that you can quote so you can provide your customers with a solid driveway cleaning estimate every single time. I get the how to quote questions all the time. How should I quote concrete? How should I price a house wash? How should I quote roof cleaning? And it's a really difficult thing to give a specific formula because there are so many factors that are involved. But over the course of the next few weeks, I'm going to be tackling each of these different questions and talking about the things that you need to know in order to quote based on your business business so you won't lose any money. So you can be as profitable as you can possibly be cleaning any surface that you might encounter out there. So throughout this video, you're going to be seeing some screenshots of our new app, Quote IQ. And obviously you don't need this app in order to quote, but we have created this tool to help not only you, but also my team to be able to quote super accurately, super fast and get our customers a price really quick and a price that is based on our data, all of which are collected in the app and give you the ability to quote with confidence. It's on the app store. It's on the Google play store. You can download it for free, which gives you the ability to manage your customers, uh, create and send estimates to those customers and send invoices as well as collect payments. You can also try out the premium version for free. We're offering this uh, 14 day trial. So check that out. There is a link below. Okay. So there are several ways that you can go about quoting pretty much anything. You can can go by the square foot, you can go by an hourly rate, and these are both extremely good methods to use. But the question then is, how are you determining what your square foot price is or what your hourly price should be? And I'm always hesitant to say which method is better. I personally use a hybrid method, which basically allows me to look at both hourly and by the square foot or linear foot and determine which makes the most sense for my business on that particular job. Because if somebody says, yeah, you just quote 25 cents a square foot, they're leading you down the wrong path. And we're going to cover what it takes to give good solid estimates. All the things that come into play in order to quote with confidence and quote for profitability. Because there is nothing worse than showing up to a job and realizing that you underbid it and you're not going to make any money. And this happens when you don't factor in all the things that are going to help to ensure the highest returns possible. So one of the quickest ways to determine an hourly rate is to calculate all of your expenses. That's everything that goes into the running of your business. Your rent, your insurance, gas, equipment, car note, any kind of marketing materials, all your overhead, everything, right? This this also includes what you pay yourself. If you have got employees or you got a helper, all of this needs to be accounted for. And with some quick math, you can figure out what your break even point is per hour. Now, the cost calculator in Quote IQ does help with this. Um, and then from there, you can determine what margin percentage you want to apply to your break even number. And this gives you your hourly rate or your target hourly rate. Now, quoting by the hour when you're first starting out might not be the best because you're still learning how to be the most efficient, how long things are going to take. And there is a slight learning curve with with all of that, but with some time under your belt, a little bit more experience, you can look at a house, you can look at a driveway and you can determine how long it's going to take you to clean. Then you can take that time, multiply it by your hourly rate and provide your estimate. Now I would not ever quote anything by the hour to the customer. I would just give them a bottom line number for the services that you're quoting. Obviously, if you want to put together a package deal, you can itemize the individual services like a driveway, a house, a roof, but never break it down by the hour. It just leaves too many factors that the customer is going to try to pick apart and that's not what you you want to waste your time on. So the next way that a lot of folks like to quote, like I said before, is the square footage pricing or the linear footage pricing method. And this is really easy to do. You simply measure out the square footage and use your square foot price. And to determine what your square foot price is also takes into account many factors. There are national averages that you can base this on if you're just starting out. And just like knowing how long things are going to take you, once you get a firm understanding of your equipment, your capabilities, how fast you're able to move, how efficient you are, you're going to be able to figure out what your ideal square foot or linear foot price is for any given surface. But you know, you can definitely use a national average and I would always err to the higher side of those averages. So you don't leave any money on the table. Cause again, that's the last thing that you want to do. And if customer after customer tells you that your prices are too high, then you simply adjust your pricing until you find that sweet spot, but never let one customer dictate price. It's got to be data driven. And one customer telling you that you're too
too high is not data driven. So if you're going out and looking at these jobs in person to give a quote, uh, you're going to be able to see exactly how dirty these properties are, which will also give you some insight into chemical consumption. If you are not going in person, you should always quote worst case scenario. And by that, I mean, just assume that the property is going to be really, really bad. And by doing it this way, you're just going to have a little bit of added insurance that you're not going to underbid it. And of course, a lot of times you can just look at something and say, that's going to cost 300 bucks. That driveway is going to cost 500 bucks. We can do your roof for 1700 bucks. And you're confident in your pricing based on your experience. Now, a lot of guys will say they quote by how many car spaces there are in a driveway. If it's a four car driveway or a six car driveway, and they put a price on that for every car that can fit. And again, this goes back to averages. This goes back to your data, understanding your cost, uh, having experience, knowing how long things take. But if you've got an idea in your head of what you want to charge per car space, whether it's 50 bucks, 60 bucks or whatever, you can look quickly at a property, whether it's in person or online and say, that's going to cost 400 bucks. And then use a hybrid method and compare it to your hourly rate or your square foot rate and see how accurate you are based on your numbers. And obviously I think it's really important to have great communication with your customers. Make sure that you're setting expectations throughout your quoting process, letting them know that you aren't necessarily going to be there to remove oil stains, rust stains, things of that nature, that you are there to surface clean the driveway, removing all the surface pollutants, removing any kind of organic material that's built up, but definitely let them know in advance that should you run into any issues like that are going to require specialty chemicals, there are going to be charges for that. So again, set expectations because it's critical. All right. So understanding your costs, being able to generate pricing based on your company's data, applying that data in whichever method you feel best, whether it's by the square foot, whether it's by how many cars you can fit in the driveway or how long it takes you to finish a job or a combination of all methods, having the understanding of your capabilities, understanding your business and knowing your numbers is going to allow you to get out there and quote with confidence, quote for profitability and set yourself up for success. I really appreciate you guys watching. Definitely check out Quote IQ. It's going to help with the process and I hope you have a great day. Don't forget to check out the Quote IQ giveaway. Register to win a free pressure washing business starter kit.